I think uh, I think it is there is definitely a culture of peace and it comes from a lot of our spiritual and religious beliefs. However, it's difficult to talk about India as one always because there's way too many communities, religion, people, immigrants uh, that don't always share the same kinds of belief. So to look at it from a from a nation state perspective, I'm gonna have to look at it from a historical perspective. And looking at that, yes, India has always uh, move towards peace, always try to maintain harmony amongst its uh, different, very, very different communities. But there have been many clashes, mostly because of um, lack of resources and such. But at the, at the heart of it all really is definitely a desire to stay together and stay united despite differences. So I do think that uh, in effect, India does try to promote cultural peace. Yeah. Historically, no, it doesn't. <laughs> um, and probably in modern times, although it says it does, I'm not convinced all of its actions, you know, back up what it what it actually says. It doesn't, you know, it's uh, it also engages in questionable actions, right? You know, internationally and domestically, mm -hmm. as, as probably as much as any other state. Right. But, You're from South Africa. I'm from South Africa, so. A culture of peace. So, in an extent, yes, right? So, South Africa, once we got social democracy, well, the black demographic, we had peace, right? And we avoided civil war. So, technically, you could say we are a peace loving country. However, in order to get this peace, we had to pay a price. And the price being is that the once marginalized class will continuously be marginalized because we weren't able to uh, spread the social resources out evenly and fairly. So because of that, we have peace, but the majority of the population is living below the poverty line. And the minority of the minority of own about maybe 50, 60, 70% of South Africa, which is incredibly unfair.